welcome back to the stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you all for supporting stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, you are welcome. You are very welcome. If you have not subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this side ruch top so you can see it is this top you can use it as a gown you can use it as a top so it is a long top so that's basically what we're going to be doing today and the fabric that i'm going to be making use of i'm making use of two yards of fabric so now we're going to i'm just going to fold my fabric and then we start imputing our measurement if you want to register for our online classes so you can see my number scrolling through the screen please send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll give you the details of the classes that we have available thank you okay so you can see my fabric is folded into two so this is my two yards of fabric i'm going to go ahead now i'll fold it into four so i'm just going to be making use of the whole two yards of my fabric so it says it is a doorman pattern that means the sleeve is cut together so now my fabric is folded into four so i'm going to be using this point as my Start up line. So this part is the savage. This is my start line. So this is my center back. So from this point, I'm going to measure where I want my sleeve to get to. So normally my shoulder measurement is supposed to be seven. You know when you divide into two, it's supposed to be seven. So now the length of my sleeve is going to be about 17 inches. So because this is the center back, so once you place, depends on how long you want your sleeve to be, you place your tape like this and then you take it to where you want it to be so mine is going to be on 17 inches which is okay so from this point what i'm going to do now mark the length of the dress so for the length of the dress because i want it to, to be long i'm going to make use of about 40 inches so it is almost like a gown because of the root so when you pull it it will become short on the side I'll just mark 40 inches here and then that's what I'm going to be using so the next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to cut off those parts okay so the next thing we're going to do now so for the neckline I'm not going to be cutting any neckline on it it is a straight neckline so I'll show you how to work on that so the next thing now, I'm going to create my shoulder slope so from this point I'm just going to come and then I'll mark one inch just down and then I'll just slope it into this line like this. So from my shoulder slope, I'm going to create my sleeve opening. So for the sleeve opening, I'm going to be making use of about 9.5 inches on it. So at the end of the day, it's going to be open with 10 inches. You can do 9 inches, depends on how wide you want it to be. So I'm just going to mark it here. So for this, I can decide to make use of my whole two yards of fabric that's the width but i'm just going to still insert measurement into it so from this point i just because i don't want it to be too wide so from this point i'm just going to use 16 inches that's from here to here that's on the bust line part i'll use 16 inches so i'll just mark it like this that's 16 inches it's going to run from the top to the bottom so this one that I'm actually making, a size, a size 10 can make use of this and then a size 12, UK size 10 and size 12 can make use of this. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'll mark it like this and then I'll go ahead, I'll cut it out right now. So you can see what we have. So I'm just going to take it back to my machine now. But before then, I'm going to take it to my ironing table so i'm not going to be adding a line into this dress so what i'm going to do now take it back to my ironing table i'm going to go and use my hemming gum i'll to fold the neckline so i'll fold it from the top that's from the whole shoulder i'm going to secure it down like this with my gum and then i will just use about half of an inch to secure it down and then come back and show you how to join the shoulder line point okay guys so you can see the neckline part so you see how i folded it i used an hemming gum for those of you that don't know what an hemming gum looks like so this is it 
this is what it looks like. You just place it on it and then you iron it down. So it gives it a very good, clean and neat finishing. So you see it on the side. So you see it is really looking neat. So the next thing now, we're going to go and join our dress together. That's our top. So I'll place the front and the back together. So the next thing now, I'm going to use I'm going to use my neckline measurement to join it. Okay, so this is, I folded my fabric into four now. So I'm going to mark where I'm going to insert the neckline. So my shoulder measurement is 14 inches, which is 7 inches. So I'm just going to do it like an off shoulder. I'm going to reduce my shoulder measurement by 1 inch, which is 6 inches. So this is my 6 inches. It depends on how drop you want it to be, how open. You can use your shoulder measurement. So mine, I read, I'm just going to go with reducing one inch from me. So this is my one inch here. I'm just going to go ahead and mark it on both sides. So I'll open it up like this. So you see what we have. You see how it is looking. So I'm going to put a notch here like this. So I'm really not going to notch it. I'm just going to use my chalk. And then I'll take it back to my machine now. And then I'm going to go and stitch from this point like this now. I'll stitch, stitch it down to the to this end and then I'll stitch this part also to this end so I'm going to be left with this opening here so after stitching that part I'm going to go ahead to the side I'm going to stitch the side of my doorman top together I'll stitch it to the hem and then stitch this other side so when we are done I'll come and show you how to insert the rope i think what i'm going to do let's the way for us to do it i'm going to let's join this one side first the side that we're going to reach let's join it and then leave the other side it will be much easier for us to walk that way so we're just you're we just going to choose which side you want to reach and then join it and then i'll come back and show you how to insert the rope okay guys so you can see so i finished teaching so you see the neckline part what i was talking about so you can see our neck line opening so you see it looks it looks so clean and then so like i said i just joined on one side so it will be easy for us to work with so when we are done you can join the other side so i'll just open up the side that we joined and then so for this for creating the root and casing you can determine how long you want it to be how long it is does not necessarily mean that you will draw the rope up to that extent the trick is that you can actually adjust it so for this i'm just going to take my left um, fabric so this is like the part that i cut out from the savage i'm just going to place so this is towards the armhole part i'm just going to come down a little bit i'll just i'm just literally going to eyeball it that's just the truth so i'll just use my eyes to check it to gauge it <laughs> rather so i'm going to okay so i think i what i have is okay so i'm just going to go i'll cut this out and then I'm, I'm going to place it like this on the center so remember the part that you are going to to weave that's the part that you are, that you are going to stitch make sure you put that into consideration. So when you are placing the that piece, make sure it is 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 going to be separate from it. As is either you make it a little bit like one inch, so you have space in between it. So just put that into consideration. So mine, I'm just going to leave like this small point like this. So I'm going to hem the down of my dress like this. So I still have the space here. So I'm going to mark. I'm just going to take my my chalk now this center part this is the center stitch line the fabric i'm just going to take it to my machine and then i'm going to stitch it on the center like this i'll stitch it on the center so the fabric that i use is about two and a half inches that's the width and then the length is 20 inches so i'll stitch it like this on the center and then i'll stitch it on the side to secure it down so now let's go over to the machine, let's go and stitch.
Okay, so you can see, guys, I've steamed it down. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sew, stitch on the first line, line, the center line. So note, I'm going to use my hands to be tracing it to make sure that I'm stitching on the exact line, on the exact side seam line. So I'll just, I'll just, there's no need to rush. I'm just going to take it easy and then I'll secure it down. So when doing this, make sure you use a very good matching thread because so it does not show on the outside. So you just use your pin, secure it down. So I finished the first stitch. So I'm just going to I'm going to pull out my thread. So you see the thread on the outside. It's a matching thread. And then the next thing I'm going to do, remember these other lines that I added. So I'm just going to go ahead also, I'll secure this line down and then secure this line down also. So make sure when you're doing this, make sure your hands are straight as possible. So that will actually help you. If not, the work will be looking very rough on the outside. Okay guys, so you can see at the end of the video, so I finished stitching it. This is the right side of my fabric. So you see it is looking really neat and clean. So the remaining thing I'm going to do now, I'm just going to join the other side and then I'll go ahead and hem the down part of the dress. And then I'll show you how to insert the rope on the side. Okay guys, so at the end of the video, so I finished stitching, coupling, joining, I'm folding the down part of my dress. So for the down part, I used the same hemming gun to secure it. So you can see it is looking neat. So the next thing we're going to do now is for us to pass our rope through the casing. So I have two different rope here. I was trying initially to choose. I think I'm going to go with this line that it matches with the fabric. So I'm just going to, so for the rope, Depends on what you want. If you want to use this kind of bias rope or if you want to sew, you can actually use a fabric like this. You just fold and stitch just to create a rope that you will put. So it depends on what you want. So yeah, I'm going to be using my safety pin like this. So I'll pass. So literally, this is what I'm just going to be doing. I'm going to be passing it through one part of the casing like this. When it gets to this part, I'll turn it and then bring it out from this part. So that's just basically what we're doing. So I got it up to the top point. So I'm just going to take it now. So I'll turn it, let it enter into this other side. So once it gets to the down part, I'm going to I'm going to bring it out and then I'll go ahead, I'll open up. So for the sleeve part, I just used fabric, I just turned the sleeve part with fabric. So you can fold it however, or you can still use hemming gum to finish that part also. So it depends on how and what you want. So at the end of the day, so you can see what I have. So I think I'm going to increase the, the rope. So when you tie, you can decide to tie and hide it. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you see how it is looking. So I'm going to go ahead now, place it on the mannequin. So once you put it on, you are just going to draw it to however you want it to be. Okay, guys. So at the end of the day, you can see how our dormant side ruched dress looks like. It really came out really beautiful. I'm just so loving this dress. I just can't wait to rock it and share a picture with you guys. So thank you so much. Please hit on the like button if you find this video helpful. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to stylish and thank you so much as you